This is Fitness Blender's Quick Sweat Cardio Workout. In this routine, we're going to be going through one round of eight different exercises, and we're going through each exercise for 45 seconds. These are all bodyweight exercises, so you're not going to need any equipment. Let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise, the delayed pendulum swings. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Go ahead and swing those legs back and forth, keeping that leg relatively straight. This is exactly like a regular pendulum swing. The only difference is on that third hop, you're actually going to pause on that leg, hop twice, and then start right back into the motion again. So it's going to be one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, pause. Just keep that motion, that cycle going over and over again. You've got 45 seconds through for this whole thing. And just about 10 seconds left, we're almost done. Just keep that leg motion going. Got five seconds left. Be as light on those toes as you can. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. We're gonna be doing two hooks, two uppercuts, and two jumping jacks. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin, nice quick motion, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, and then two jumping jacks right back into it. Just keep that motion going. So just try to focus on making sure you're keeping those feet either perfectly square, so they're even straight across left to right, or you're leading with your left leg, then you switch and lead with your right leg and alternating back and forth each time. So you just wanna make sure that you're nice and even on both sides. You don't always do that left side forward or always that right side forward. Now just keep in mind while you're doing this exercise, the number of calories you burn doing this is going to be dependent upon how hard you push when you're doing those punches and those jumping jacks. So really try to push yourself and work against yourself as you're doing those punches and hooks, and you're going to burn a lot more calories. If you just kind of go through the motion, it's not going to be anywhere near as much. We're almost done. And go ahead and let it relax. So right, let's go move on to the next exercise, the lateral cross lunges. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Now this motion is a cross between a lateral jump and a lunge. So what you're going to do is your lateral jump, if you jump to the left, that left leg should contact the ground first. Your right leg is going to kick back behind you. You're going to reach down towards the outside of your left foot with your right hand and then jump back the opposite direction. So that right foot touches down, left leg goes back behind you, reach down to that right foot with your left hand. Just keep alternating back and forth, getting nice and low, squatting down or doing that lunge motion on each side making sure you're getting as much distance left to right as you possibly can with every single time you do that lateral jump. Almost done, just about 10 seconds left. Just keep that motion going, really push yourself. Try to get nice and low, try to get nice and wide. Five seconds left. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and do the next exercise. Four jack steps and two crossover jumps. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, start that first motion, the jack steps, left hand, left leg forward, right hand, right leg back, and then alternate back and forth for four times, and then switch into that crossover jump, so your hands are going to swing in front of your body, alternating which hand is on top each time, as well as crossing your feet over top of one another, alternating which one's in front. Now let's do that motion twice, and then switch back to the jack steps. Now as you're doing this motion, just make sure that you're not swinging those arms out of control. You actually want to have that shoulder and that chest nice and stabilized, nice and contracted the entire time, so that motion is always under control. You're never just kind of letting those arms flail around or those legs. So just keep going. We've got just about five seconds left. Nice, solid motion. Just keep it moving as quick as you can. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next exercise. We've got lateral burpees. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. So this is just a traditional burpee motion, but you're adding in a lateral jump on top of it. So every time you drop down into that burpee motion and jump, as soon as you come back down, you're going to jump directly to your side, drop back down into another burpee motion, come back up. As soon as you come back down from that jump, you're going to jump directly back into that original position, dropping back into another burpee. Just make sure that every single time you drop back down from that last jump after the burpee, you're going right back into that lateral jump moving back and forth left to right. 
Now, if a burpee with a jump at the top is a little bit too hard, you're looking for something a little bit easier, then cut that jump out at the top and just go directly into your lateral jump. So instead of coming up, doing your vertical jump and then lateral jump, you're just gonna go straight into that lateral jump. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's move into the next exercise, the running man kicks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So this is going to be kind of a rocking motion. You're going to start with your right leg kicking it forward and your left leg kicking back. Every time that right leg comes up in front, your left arm is going to be coming in front as well. Every time that left leg goes behind you, your left arm is going to be coming in front. So just kind of swinging those arms back and forth along with that leg motion to keep alternating back and forth. We're going to switch which leg is leading in just a second. All right, go ahead and stutter step it right here. You're going to start with that left leg forward this time. Right leg goes back. So just alternating that position. Left leg's in front this time, right leg's going back behind you, and that right arm's gonna be the one coming in front every single time that leg comes up. Almost done. It's about five seconds left. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the two hop squats. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Starting out on that left leg, you're gonna hop twice to the right, drop down a nice deep squat, and then come up onto your right leg and hop twice over to the left, drop back down to that original position, dropping down that nice deep squat, coming back up on that left leg, starting that cycle over again. Then make sure you start with a really nice shallow short hop, and then as you get comfortable with it, start trying to push that hop bigger and bigger and bigger, trying to cover as much distance as you can, at the same time, once you drop down to that squat, try to make sure you're getting those hips really nice and low, keeping those knees back, making sure you're trying to get as much work in those glutes and those thighs as you possibly can. And we're almost done. Just about five seconds left. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, a side lunge with two jumping jacks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Start lunging off to the right side, bring that left hand to the outside of that right foot, come up and do two jumping jacks, then drop down to the left, bending that left knee, bring that right hand to the outside of that left foot, come back up, two more jumping jacks, and then start that cycle all over again. Now as you're doing that lunge, make sure that the only knee that's bending is the knee to the outside of your body, so if you drop off to the right side, only that right knee bends, that left leg is going to stay straight. When you drop off to the left, only your left knee bends, that right leg stays straight. Just keep alternating back and forth, making sure you do two jumping jacks in between every single time you lunge. Almost done, just about five seconds left. Just keep that motion going. And let it relax. All right, good job, workout complete. You just finished Fitness Splinter's Quick Sweat Cardio Workout.